Inspired by the official series of LEGO Creator Expert modular buildings, the Bakery Set 55001 by Panacea Bricks is fully enclosed with four floors of incredibly detailed interior, featuring a bakery, coffee shop, gym, apartment, and a rooftop garden. It is absolutely massive, and this building rivals the detail of any official LEGO modular building. The bakery comes in at the lovely price of $136 US dollars on their website. And with a worldwide shipping cost of only $10, with my 20% off discount code, NUBRI20, the bakery comes in at over $100 cheaper than the newest LEGO modular, the Jazz Club. Let's take a closer look. Welcome back to the channel everyone, it's Michael back with yet another LEGO alternative set review. If you've been here before you may recognize the name Pantasy Bricks. I reviewed one of their Astro Boy sets a few months ago. If you're someone who is a LEGO purist, I totally understand, but I would encourage you to open your mind, especially if you're a fan of Astro Boy, Popeye, Metal Slug, or Sherlock Holmes, you may be excited to see that Panacy Bricks has some officially licensed products featuring these franchises. And their sets are high quality, which I already know from experience. I just know that somewhere out there is a LEGO fan who is a huge fan of Popeye the Sailor Man, and they are gonna be absolutely stoked to see this Popeye treasure hunt steamship. When Panacy Bricks reached out to me to review this bakery building, I was super excited to jump on that opportunity because as you can see, it is very pleasing to the eye and it will be a great addition to my Lego city. We're gonna go ahead and take a step back, go through the unboxing process, and then I will take you on a full tour of this epic building. I'm gonna go through every single little detail from the colorful exterior to the detailed interior. Let's get started. All right, everybody, so it's time to unbox our package from Pantasy Bricks containing the bakery. As you see, if you turn around, it says, please do not open this box. It is a parcel. All right, well, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Nah, I'm just kidding. All right, let's go ahead and open this thing up. That's it. All right, you can see here we've got Panacy Bricks, create a cool, colorful universe. Thank you again to Panacy Bricks. Let's take a look at this box. Oh, wow. Very similar packaging to a Lego modular, at least the newer ones with the black box. You can see here on the front, we've got the bakery, very colorful. Fantasy set 55001, it looks like it's from 2022. And just another look at the box art. You can see on this side, it shows all four of the floors here. Oh, this is cute. Look at this, you got a few guys on this side. We've got the weightlifters, a bakery employee, I guess. And then I think there's a coffee shop. So we'll, we'll dive into the actual uh, specifics of the set. So it looks like we've got an inner box. Ooh, a few different inner boxes. So, This is kind of cool, so as you can see, it's, the set is split into two boxes. We've got bags one through eight and nine through 17, but I'm guessing we take this one, put it on here, it lines up perfectly. That is very clever. Now we're gonna go ahead and open this, take a look at some of the bags. We'll just go ahead and pour them out. I'm sure it's gonna become quite a mess. Oh, wow, look at those colors. That is really unique color. I love also, you get to see Bricks does have some pretty bags here. I love their pink color and look at that, the minifig already assembled. And look at that torso printing. It's like we got a pretty standard uh, 32 by 32 base plate here. I will be making mine into a Mills plate. I love these colors, these unique orange colors. Got some windows, so very cool. Yeah, I just wanted to see how exactly this was packaged. Awesome, the instructions look great. Oh man, this is gonna take quite a while to build. And once we get it built, we'll come back, we'll talk a little bit more about the set and what our thoughts are. All right. I didn't even realize I had my light on. That's such an old man thing to do. Just don't realize you have your flashlight on. But look, it's like we're at a concert. Wee. Okay. Let's go. So 
So as you can clearly see, this building is huge. It's a full 58 centimeters or 22 inches in height, making it taller than the Sanctum Sanctorum. Here it is next to my Lego modular bookshop, and you can see it makes the bookshop look small in comparison. It's built on a 32 by 32 base plate, making it very suitable for mills plating, which you can see I've done here. As you can see, not only is it huge, but it's also very colorful. Each floor has a slightly different color scheme, and there's a beautiful orange on the bottom level. The sign on the front reads bakery in rainbow color, and looking at it from the top, you can tell the shape of the building is mostly square, but it's got this little cutout piece on the side, which does give it a unique shape. The build comes with six minifigures, which are surprisingly not bad. I'll talk about those uh, more later in the video. The bakery comes with some specialized print pieces, quite a few of them, which gives the set an extremely high quality feel. You've gotta give them props for not including any stickers in the whole build. What we're gonna do now is go on a floor by floor tour of the entire build, and I'm gonna show you all the fine details. Let's go ahead and jump in. On the ground floor is the set's namesake, the bakery. Four walls of luscious orange bricks, which I love the vibrant color of. You'll see the bakery sign spelled out with colorful tiles and featuring a brick-built pastry. The doors to the bakery are set back using jumper tiles and have a nice curved edge which connects to either side of the orange wall. And above the door is quite ornate with some white pieces and lamps. There's some great ornamentation on the outside of the building. There's a fountain right outside the bakery entrance and an abundance of plants and flowers adorning the building. On the right side of the bakery door is a little coffee shop window with a giant coffee cup on the wall. You can open this hinged wall to access the inside. These little transparent door flaps over here act as an employee entrance into the bakery kitchen. Around the back of the build, you'll see there's a gutter drain here with some water spilling out, which I thought was a nice detail. And there's a fire escape ladder which runs all the way up. Let's go ahead and take off the top section to access the interior of the bakery. You'll see the interior of the bakery is also quite colorful with some mint and dark azure tiles on the floor in a neat pattern. Inside, there's a bakery counter where you can order pastries like donuts, sponge cake, and magical chiffon cake as listed on the menu. You can see the menus are styled with uh, Pantasy Bricks pink and blue branding and labeled Pan Bakery, which I think is not only an homage to their brand, but also a pun maybe, uh, because I know pan means bread in certain languages. You guys will have to let me know if that applies here. Uh, there's a table to eat whatever you get from the bakery, a rack of baguettes, and Croissants. Are you going to finish that croissant? And a shelf full of candy and drinks. Around the corner, you can access the bakery kitchen, which has a few nice details for baking that bread. That's about it for the first floor. On to the next. Floor two features a mostly tan color, but it does have some ornate ornamentation on the front with these white feather pieces as well as some gold features. The metallic bricks from Panacea look awesome. There were a lot of those in the Astro Boy set that I got, and I believe these bricks are spray painted by hand if this picture in the instructions is any indication. The whole build is covered in windows, but I am a huge fan of this curved corner window. They've added this to the side of the second floor which lets you see into the gym on the inside. The gym itself is very cool. I can't say I've ever seen a brick-built gym before, so I'm super glad that my minifigures in my LEGO City will finally have a place to get swole. They switched up the color scheme to lime green and gray for the gym, and they provide a bench press and some dumbbells, a treadmill, and a bike. I just love these little builds. Uh, they're very creative. Over in the corner is a punching bag along with a water cooler. Floor three continues the tan coloring from the floor below, but adds in some more white elements as accents on the front and full white walls around the sides and back. There's a little balcony in here uh, in the front where you can hang out. It's not much of a railing though, so don't fall off. Floor three is an apartment, nicely furnished with a desk, a bookcase, another little shelf, and a bed. There's even a bathroom with the toilet, and you've gotta love the usage of this door piece as toilet paper. There's some additional printed pieces on the walls and desk. You'll see another little uh, Pantasy Bricks reference here on the table. There's a tiled rug next to the door, which leads out onto the balcony. Finally, 
we have the final level, which is the roof. It features some nice sloped pieces on the front and some interesting window builds, but when you turn it around, you'll see a nice little garden called the David's Yard, which features a habitat for these seagulls. The seagulls are actually not bad. They are a cute little piece. I really like them. Uh, that's basically the entire build. So now I wanna talk about the minifigures. There are six minifigures in the set. You get two bakery employees, manager Julie, apprentice David, star baker Miriam. Then you've got a bread fanatic Alice who lives in the top apartment. And by the sound of it, she may have just moved into this apartment to have easy access to the bakery. I'm not even joking. The instructions have a small character bio for each one. And Alice's section says she eats from the bakery daily. I guess I would eat from the bakery daily too if it was in the same building that I lived in. The last two minifigures are meant to work out in the gym. You've got blogger Naomi and fitness expert Tom, who is absolutely ripped and has some Super Saiyan looking hair. As far as quality, these minifigures are much better than I expect from third-party brick companies, so that is definitely a compliment. The faces and hair takes closely from Lego style, although the hair is a different texture. It almost feels like a form of rubber. The minifigures feature a lot of nice printing. We've even got leg prints and torso prints on every side. The one interesting thing about these minifigures is that the arms have an additional degree of articulation. So they use a ball joint, so the arms can move left and right as well as forward and back, which is I thought was a nice detail. Um, they do feel nice, although the legs feel a bit thinner, in, the plastic feels thinner than what's used on Lego minifigures. So in that regard, they do feel just a bit cheaper than Lego minifigures. Uh, I do not have the same impression of the bricks though. The bricks are very high quality, feel very nice to build with. If you've seen any of my reviews before, you know I love to look at the instructions, so we will do that really quick. Good instructions are absolutely vital for a good building experience, and I already know from my experience with Panacea Bricks that their instructions are great, simple to understand, and nearly identical to LEGO instructions, which is something I always try to compare to, as I do think that LEGO is the gold standard for instructions. The instructions come in two separate booklets, very well printed, uh, corresponding to the two boxes I showed at the beginning. It has a fun section at the beginning, which gives bios for all the characters, and some of the details of the builds. This is all written in Mandarin for the most part, nothing that a little bit of Google Translate cannot fix. Overall, my impression of this set is definitely one of quality. I can honestly say this provides the same level of detail that is included in many of the official LEGO Creator Expert modular buildings at a fraction of the price they are now released at. If you guys are interested in this set, don't forget you can use my discount code NEWBREE20 to get 20% off. I think it's valid for a week after I post this. The real question is, would I have bought this set if it wasn't sent to me? Absolutely. I think I've shown through many of my videos that I am a big fan of quality LEGO alternatives, especially when they are a fraction of the cost. Let me know if you have any questions about the build in the comments below, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.